Hey guys, Profe Pablo here back with another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at five different repeater clocks. Now guys, redstone is my absolute favorite part of this game. I love the logic behind it and trying to figure out how it works. You can use these clocks for a lot of different purposes. You could use them for note blocks. You could use them for bone meal dispensers. You could use them for pistons. You can even use them for automatic weapons. All of these clocks are very easy to make and are very useful for your builds. The first one is a double observer clock. You can see the speed at which it repeats here. To make this, all you need are two observers. Place one here, the other one facing into it, and then you'll need a redstone line going out of it. Or just let it power the block behind it. The next clock is one of the fastest clocks in Minecraft. It's so fast, in fact, that if you put the power block too close to it, it won't work. It'll just stay powered. So you need to make sure that your block is far enough away from this clock. To make this clock, you will need a powered block. That could be a block of your choice and a lever five redstones, and a comparator. Place down your block, place a lever on it, turn it on, place down your comparator, put redstone going back into your comparator, turn your comparator on subtraction mode, and then place at least two redstone going out from this clock. The next clock is one of my favorites because it is so reliable I call it the T clock because you have to make it T to make this. You can see its speed by looking at the redstone torch here. For this build, you will need four blocks of your choice, redstone, a redstone torch, a comparator, and a lever to turn it off and on. Start by making a T. Break the middle block. Place down a piece of redstone. Place down a redstone repeater going into the block that is above that redstone. Place down your torch. That will start the clock. Then place a lever to turn it off and on. Clock number four is extremely easy to make. It is an observer clock with three pieces of redstone. You can see its speed by looking at this torch here. All you need is an observer and three pieces of redstone. Place down your observer. Place redstone behind it, on top of it, and then lastly in front of it. If you start with the front, it actually won't turn on. So to make it turn on, you have to do the redstone in front of it last. The last clock that we are using is one of the clocks that I use the most in Minecraft. It is a clock that gets powered by items being filled in the container behind it. If there are no items in your container, it turns off. If there are items in your container, it turns on. To make this clock, you will need a redstone repeater, a comparator, a container, that can be a chest, a hopper, a dispenser, a dropper, and four pieces of redstone. Start by placing down your container, go behind or to the side of that container, place a redstone comparator, redstone repeater, and take your redstone line and have it go back into the comparator. Then just place an item inside your container and the clock turns on. 
This one is especially useful for bone meal dispensers, which I have a video for in the description below. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed these five essential redstone repeater clocks. That wraps up another episode of Profe Plays Minecraft.